this video, how to quickly find the tags and topics that are trending on Redbubble. What's up YouTube? This is Doug from MerchMetrics.com. Welcome to another video. If you want to learn how to grow your print-on-demand business or learn about other ways to earn passive income online, then subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. All right, I've jumped into the computer. I'm going to go ahead and put the, the link to this down in the description because it has a, a little bit of a strange name. It's redbubble.dabu.ro. Um, RO. So, I mean, that could be a little bit hard to find. Um, anyhow, this tool is, um, they're working on two tools. The Redbubble 10K Most Popular Tags is working now. That's the tool I'm going to show you today. And then they have a tag generator that's going to give you a list of 50 of the, the best tags for whatever um, root or base tag you select. So, um, that one's not ready yet. We can't, I can't show you that one because it's not actually working. But I can show you this Redbubble 10K Most Popular Tags. So this is the tags that are used most um, on Redbubble, and the the gentleman who made this product he um, he updates it uh, once a week every Monday, so it's a weekly update of all the data. They um, scan through all the listings and just look at all the tags and see what's popular, how um, how many new results there are, or how many fewer results there are, and um, gives you a list so you can see what is popular what is trending what people are adding um, and you know if people are adding them there's a good chance they're selling uh, what this is telling you is what um, you know what people are creating the most lately uh, the number of results for those uh, how those results have changed over the last week um, if you see a lot of um, sometimes artists will take down their artwork uh, say I put up a lot of Halloween artwork and then we get too close to Halloween and it's no longer possible to ship that those products out in time to get to my customer. I don't want to muddy up my whole shop page with uh, Halloween design, so I'll take those designs down until the next year. Um, so you, that's why some results would be going down. Also, if people have copyrighted um, or trademarked things in their designs, I mean, obviously those would be removed. Uh, so how does this tool work? Um, you get the top 25 entries. It's going to tell you 25 of the top 25 most common tags. Uh, you can uh, actually get 100 on a page, which is what I would do. And then, as you can see, it gives you um, kind of the the sh the link to the Redbubble search for each of these items. So you can actually go and see what is selling. For those um, for those items, and, and as you can see, number one is Among Us. Uh, I, this is not something I would touch because I think Among Us is, um, you know, it's all copyrighted and trademarked, and it's a it's a video game. Um, so if I was going to do something with Among Us, it would have to be really creative and not obvious. Just using their, um, you know, the likeness of their character, I think, is going to get your designs taken down and your your shop shut down. So I wouldn't do that. But, um, you know, uh, there, there's probably a creative way to go about it. But anyway, so you, you can go ahead and directly see the search results. Um, and you can also search. So let's say I'm creating designs um, and I want to create like Schitt's Creek designs or something. And you can see that the Schitt's Creek is trending across the board. Like the results have uh, increased in every category or in every popular tag. Uh, there are more results than there were the previous week, and you can see uh, out of the top 10,000, um, you know, four of the tags are in the top, um, what, the top four, uh, or sorry, sorry, the top 1,000, and then there's a few more that are also up there. People looking for home decor, uh, prints, greeting cards, mugs, sweatshirts, clothing, t-shirts, and stickers. Uh, you can see here that what it gives you is, one, a link to the to the search on Redbubble so you can see what designs are out there. And then also you can see the tag. So the tags here would be Schitt's Creek stickers, Schitt's Creek t-shirts, Schitt's Creek clothing, sweatshirts, etc. Um, so this gives you a way to find out what is trending, what is popular, um, what kind of tags you know people are creating designs in, and the popularity um, is compared to the previous week. So um, it's, it's just a way to find out what's trending and to improve your listings when you're adding new products. 
All right, and that's pretty much the tool. They are working on a second tool. It's the Redbubble Tag Generator. The Tag Generator is just going to be to um, give you the top 50 for any uh, for any base um, tag that you choose. So say I put in just Shit's Creek like I did here. Uh, I had you know one, two, three. What is this? Nine entries. So uh, it it would have given me those nine entries, not in search terms, but in just the tags themselves. Uh, so if I, if I wanted to, I could just copy and paste those in. Now that that tool isn't quite ready yet, so we'll have to check that out. Um, you know, once it becomes available. But I think this is a really cool tool. It gives you an idea of what people are creating, what what's. It doesn't necessarily directly relate to what's selling, but you better believe that if people are creating these um, and they're increasing in popularity, they're making more because they're selling. So I do think that it is a, a good indication that these things are selling. Um, I'll go ahead and clear that out, just give you the top uh, 100. Uh, you know, another interesting thing that you can do is you can, you can filter by how things are changing. So I just want to see things that have increase the most, like the biggest trending things. Uh, funny clothing, probably because it's on a whole lot of categories. Uh, custom t-shirts, custom masks, uh, mandala tapestries, or tapestries, uh, mandala stickers. Uh, mandalas, just, uh, it's huge. I don't know why it's growing so much right now, but um, if you are in, you know, if you're a designer who creates mandalas, um, that could be something huge for you. Um, just knowing that this is trending so much and that uh, probably means people are uh, buying a bunch of them. Uh, 45,000 for Redbubble is very low uh, for a number of results. It just gives you a way to research Redbubble without being on Redbubble, and I think it's a really cool way to find out what's trending. All right, guys, this has been Doug with MerchMetrics.com, and I will see you in the next video.